Hi, I'm Olympic gold medalist Shannon Miller and I am here to help you work out. I'm so excited to be filming this fitness video. This coincides with an article that you can find on SpaFinder.com. Now we want to get started with our workout, but we've got to kind of get warmed up first. It's been raining here in Florida, so we took our workout outside today, or this beautiful day. So you're probably going to hear some noise in the background, but that's okay. It's a beautiful day. We want to get working out first by getting our blood flowing. Take a walk around the block, do some jumping jacks, running in place, whatever it is to get moving. Sometimes I like to do a little bit of yoga. So we're going to start with some sun salutations. One of the most important things to remember is to breathe. Doesn't have to look great, just has to feel great. We'll move through. If you can hop up or you can step up. We're going to do three of these just to get a little stretched out, a gentle stretch. to get our mind and our body ready for the workout. Last one. All right. So we need our blood flowing a little bit more. We're gonna start out with a full minute of jumping jacks, jumping rope. If you don't have a rope, act like it, that's fine. Sometimes I'll do some jumping jacks, but then I get a little bored. So I'll add in something different, just anything that keeps you moving. And I'm gonna guess at a full 60 seconds here. Move your arms, move your legs. Make sure you're really focused on tightening those abs, pulling that belly button to your spine. I'm gonna be saying that a lot today. Sixty seconds is usually a lot longer than you think it is. All right, so now we're gonna head on to plank. This is a time for you to breathe a little bit. You can modify plank by going up on a, a harder surface, or a higher surface. Just make sure it's stable. Plank is a great full body move. Very important to make sure that your tush is not in the air or you're not sagging. Those are the two don'ts. You want to keep a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your heel. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. And then each day you can try to add like five seconds until you work up to a full minute hold. It's great for your shoulders, your abdominals. Make sure you're working your leg muscles as well. Take a nice deep breath because the real workout is about to begin. All right, so we are going to start with our circuit training. This is something that you can run through two or three times for a full workout. We're going to go a bit down on the floor again, start with our push-ups. Now, I still have a little bit of leftover wrist issues, so I'm going to do a modified version. Certainly, you can do a regular push-up. We're going to do 20 push-ups. Again, just keeping your back nice and flat. I think that's 16, so we're getting close. And 20. I always like to do a little bit of a stretch in between. Next up, we're going to do mount climber. So kind of the same position as that plank. We're going to do 20 of these. Pull that knee forward and switch. And switch. Switch. And you can take it slow, and then you can speed it up. I'm going to do 20 on each leg. All 
All right, again, I'm kind of guessing at numbers since I'm talking as I'm counting. <laughs> Next, we are going to start with our lunge and curl. So if you have a couple of water bottles or if you have a couple of light weights, you can grab those. I use very light weights. I use two pound, maybe three pound weights. Um, and I do a lot more reps. So we want to do our lunge and curl. You can tell I'm already breathing hard. <laughs> All right, so we're going to lunge, curl. Back up and switch legs. Very important to remember, we do not want our knee to go out over our heel. Keep those knees safe, always. We're going to do 20 of these. That's eight, so we're getting to almost halfway. And this is a way to multitask your moves. You do not need two hours a day to work out. Take that 30 minutes, get a good full body workout in, then add some cardio, and you're good to go. And you'll see that everything we're doing today is nice and slow and controlled. If you start going too fast, you're using momentum instead of actual muscle power. I think that's 18. 19. And 20. All right, let's look at the list. Calf raises are next. Go ahead and set your weights aside. Grab something sturdy. I've got this chair right here that I can grab. This mat's getting hot on my feet. Make sure you have something sturdy, a wall, a chair, calf raises. Again, don't want to be bouncing. Slow and controlled. Tightening your stomach, pulling that belly button to your spine, always working your abs. Keep that posture up. Pull the top of your head toward the ceiling, toward the sky. And really focus on using all of your leg muscles. You want to make sure your heels fully hit the floor each time. And then rise up as tall as you can, just like you're wearing those six inch heels. All right, I think we're at about 16, 18, 18 and 20. So you should be burning all the way through your hamstrings and your calves. Go ahead and set your chair aside. We're going to start with squats this time. Grab your weights or your water bottles. Go ahead, place your feet. You put your feet at a 45 degree angle. We're going to squat down. I would say the lowest you want to go is 90 degrees. I probably will not get there. So we want to squat and press. Squat and press. If you can make these nice and fluid, that's good. This is working your inner thighs, your glutes. But you're also getting that good arm workout in as well. Now, if you start doing more than 20, or maybe you're on your third repetition of this circuit, you can vary the arms a little. And again, this is now, we're entering ab work here. The nice little twist. Back to our press. I think we're at about 15. 17. All right, so we're going to get back to our chair. Find um, a very sturdy chair. You um, could even do it on a retaining wall. You could do this uh, with a sturdy ottoman. These are our dips. My son loves these. He's five. He says, Mom, they're backward push-ups. Yeah, basically, they're backward push-ups. So the important thing about dips is you want to get a nice, sturdy surface. Make sure that your knees do not go over your heels. Go down about 90 degrees. Just drop your tailbone toward the floor. Make sure all the weight's in your arms as much as possible. Now, if you want to get real crafty, you can do straight legs. I'm not doing that today. <laughs>
If you want to get fancy, you can do one arm dips as you wave to the neighbor who's doing yard work. <laughs> All right, about five more. My arms are burning. Okay, shake them out. Woo, stretch them if you need. But don't wait too long because you've got to get to the next move. All right, we got two more moves. These are the biggie because we all like that flat tummy as much as possible, especially after a couple of kids. So lay on your back. We never have to do a sit up. We can do crunches. And of course, I've got the sun right there. So I'm going to close my eyes. And what you're really doing is just tightening your abs. Leave your legs nice and loose. You don't want to strain on your neck. Don't be pulling your chin down. Trainer told me once, just pretend you have an apple right here. You never want to yank your chin toward your chest. If you are worried about that and you want to take all stress off your neck, just keep your hands up. This is a little bit easier to do. And you can vary this up. I like to sometimes twist. Legs straight out. You can even add a little bit of a, a leg work in. But that kind of goes into our next move. We'll go ahead and finish out our last few of these crunches. And I think that's probably about 20. And I always like to do a nice big stretch in between. Just stretch those abs out. All right, last we're gonna do our bicycle crunch. So, if you've all seen this before, and you can do that with heels on the ground, which takes a little pressure off, or lift that leg up, make it a little bit more difficult. Now, I like to do these nice and slow and controlled. In the gym, we would go like this. And you can do that. I tend to like to do very slow and controlled movements. I feel the burn a lot faster. I'm definitely feeling it. Couple more. All right, roll it out. Stretch it out. Whew. All right, so if you want to do that for your workout, that's great. But in all reality, you probably want to do that circuit two or three times, starting with the full minute of jumping jack. So get to it. Now, after that, you're not done yet. <laughs> a full workout also needs to include stretching. Stretching at the end is so important for the cool down, but it's also important for injury prevention. So make sure you get five to 10 minutes of stretching at the end, it's so important. You can find the full workout at spafighter.com and make sure you check out shannonmiller.com for all things health and fitness.